Brian, how would you recommend we demystify cybersecurity? Gosh, that 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 that's a bit of a tough tough one. One one thing I think about a lot is the definition of a hacker. Because people have this image of a hacker of, you know, Mr. Robot in a hoodie and you know, all these kind of crazy characters. And if they go to Black Hat, they'll see all those guys. Or not Black Hat so much anymore, but DEF CON. You'll see those those sorts of characters. But what, if I said to you, Rick, like, it, we're hacking the genome, hacking the human genome, What the thing that comes to mind is that you're taking the genome and you're using it understanding how it works and using it in a way that it wasn't intended to make it do something interesting that it wasn't really originally intended to do. And all hacking is just that. So hacking in general is not about O'Day, is not about all these kind of complicated things. It's about figuring out how something works and then using it and kind of MacGyvering it, you know, using it in a way that it was never really intended. And so that that's part of the neat thing is that it attracts all these very creative people from all walks of life um, that, that we've seen. Um, so I think a lot of demystifying cyber is not focusing on the technical details that we geek out on about, you know, keep overflows or, you know, in memory, just making it complicated. It's breaking it down into um, kind of analogies in the real world and, demystifying a lot of the terminology. Most most of us, most professions have this jargon wall that they put up, like the medical profession. And we need to avoid that because a lot of the things that we're doing conceptually are pretty simple if you get past all the, the jargon and the esoteric techniques. So I think that's that's probably the, the best way. And the other thing is just letting people know that you know, usually the criminals are not out to get you. I mean, if you're a high profile individual, if you're you know, a politician or something like that, then then they're out to get you. <laughs> but for most of us, just doing kind of reasonable, minimal barriers so that then the next guy's the easiest target is is usually enough to protect yourself. Um, they're just they're looking for for easy marks. So uh, educating people on on that and just. Toning it down a bit, <laughs> I think, is really important.